Hey guys, welcome to another episode on my channel. So today we are going to talk about uh, this uh, MPU uh, gyroscope sensor. Uh, part number is uh, GY521. And this is one really interesting piece of equipment. It's really wise to have it around with your projects because uh, you can measure multiple things with it. Not only that it works as a gyroscope and you can measure acceleration and angle, but you could also measure temperature with it. And in order to make it work for this episode, I'm going to use uh, ESP32 microcontroller, but you could also uh, use ESP8266 uh, uh, or Arduino, doesn't matter, it works all the same. So I'm just going to uh, move this ESP8266 aside and I'm going to put this uh, sensor to my breadboard. Okay, like this, it's breadboard friendly. Then with my microcontroller, first I'm going to connect uh, ground to ground. Let me see, ground it's second pin. You can use uh, both 3.3 uh, and 5 volts, but it's better to use it with uh, 5 volts. So I need my VCC pin, this one. Let me check. All right. And that's the A pin on my microcontroller. It's uh, pin 21. Let me see. It's in here. I'm going to connect it to SDA. And SCL, it's pin 22. It's in here. It's third pin on sensor module. All right. So in next part of this tutorial, we are going to do coding and at the end, we are going to test our project. All right, guys, if you are using Visual Studio Code, go to your uh, platform I.O. and create a new project. Click on new project. Project name is going to be simple test and select uh, your board. I'm going to use ESP32. Let me see. It's this one, Espresif ESP32 development module. Okay, framework Arduino, and now I'm going to select location. Okay, finish. All right, now we have our project. In source, we have main CPP. I am just going to clear this a little bit. All right, so now before we start our coding, we have to install a few libraries. Go to a platform uh, IO uh, home, go to libraries and now type Adafruit MPU 6050. This is first one. Select your project, simple test, add. All right, next one. It's also add a fruit. Unified sensor. Add to your project. Simple test, add. And one more. Also add a fruit. Bus IO. I 
and now we have everything that we are going to need okay I'm going to save all of this I'm going to select my USB port now and we can go with the coding now so first I'm going to include these uh, libraries so include the fruit underscore MPU 6050 then include sensor.h and include wire now we are going to create uh, object of MPU sensor so add a fruit MPU 6050 call it MPU or any other way you like now in void setup first we are going to initialize serial monitor with 9600 this is totally fine now while not serials we are going to make delay of 100 milliseconds and then we are going to try to initialize our sensor so MPU begin I'm going to print something like failed and I'm going to return so just to mention if you are going to use the ESP8266 microcontroller uh, for uh, this example MPU begin you would have to uh, provide the SCL uh, and uh, SDA pins yourself and as you can see with ESP32 I don't have to do that I'm just going to call uh, begin without any argument now if our uh, MPU sensor is initialized we are going to print some welcome message like print ln something unimportant just in order to know that everything is up and running now we have some housekeeping stuff uh, like function mpu set accelerometer range and we are going to set it to mpu 6050 range 8G it's for my model now MPU set zero range to MPU 6050 underscore 500 degrees like this then MPU set filter bandwidth to MPU 6050 underscore band 5 Hertz and I'm just going to print new line and we could also print new line after uh, this sensor is here message but it doesn't matter print ln we are going to print empty line and that's that's totally fine and now we are going to create sensor event we need three a for accelerometer G for gyroscope and T for temperature and now we are going to use function MPU set set event no it's sorry it's get get event for address of A address of G and address of t wonderful make some space 
and with this function we are actually going to store uh, values into our sensor events and now we can print that to our serial monitor so first I'm going to print with printf of course it's going to be much better something like acceleration is uh, measured in uh, meters per second square then I would like uh, have a new line then tab and now we are going to print uh, three values acceleration for x y and uh, z axi and I'm going to do it like this so uh, percentage uh, dot 0 to f that means that we are going to uh, print uh, floating uh, point uh, number okay I'm going to uh, copy this two times and I'm going to have a new line at the end now arguments that I'm going to provide is a acceleration x then a acceleration y and a acceleration z and i'm going to copy this for gyroscope so in here we are dealing with rotation rotation is in uh, radians per second we are also going to have three values but in here we are going to have g 0 x but dot dot x now g 0 y and g 0 z and we need one more serial print f in here we are going to deal with temperature temperature is percentage dot zero two f in celsius degrees okay and i'm going to have a new line additional new line and as argument we are going to provide t temperature and just in order to format this a little bit better print ln i'm going to print something like this between start and the end of readings uh, it's going to be interesting to be like this and and i'm going to make delay of let's say one second this is fine okay one final check to see if everything is in place so add a fruit add a fruit sensor wire our object serial print not print ln serial beginning here we are initializing our uh, serial monitor now while not serial delay uh, if mpu begin uh, another mistake while not mpu begin so as long we cannot initialize our uh, sensor we are going to print initialize in initialization failed and we are going to return but if we succeed in uh, initialization we are going to jump over this and we are going to print sensor it's here then mpu set uh, accelerometer range zero range uh, filter bandwidth so everything looks nice i'm going to save this code i'm going to build it all right and finally upload okay i'm going to open my serial monitor uh all right i'm going to 
restart my microcontroller. Let's see what we are going to get. It's a bit too fast. And now you should be able to uh, see my microcontroller and the sensor in the corner. Uh, well, in here you can see uh, that there is some offset. Uh, you are going to tweak uh, these numbers in, in order to get uh, closest to uh, real values as much as possible. Now if I change position of my sensor, you are going to see that we are going to get different numbers all right and now i'm going to put my finger over my sensor in order to see temperature rise okay we are close to 31 degree yeah we are there all right so guys that's all for this episode i hope that you learned something new something interesting so please like subscribe and see ya